Hey, good morning. It's Mike Schunke with Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Shift Home Properties in Scottsdale, Arizona. Friday morning market chat with Mike. Uh, let's see. We're going to talk about residential. We're going to talk about commercial. Then we're going to spend a few minutes on what sets mortgage rates. Uh, mortgage rates are down a little bit this week. Everybody celebrated, but uh, we're going to talk about why I don't think we're done yet with uh, raising rates. Anyway, uh, homes for sale, multiple listing service, 12,952 single family detached homes for sale. It's up about 200. Maricopa County is 9,500. Single family detached homes for sale, that's also up about 200. In Scottsdale, there's 1,178. Single family detached homes for sale, that's up eight from last week. That number should be about 5,000. So we still have an inventory issue and that's not going to end anytime soon. Uh, you know, when you listen to the headlines, uh, pay attention to what they're actually talking about. Um, you know, you can make statistics say anything you want. And we we're here about this housing recession. Does that mean prices are dropping? No, it just means number of transactions is real tight. Industry is tightening up as a whole. You know, margin margins are getting a little, little slim there on the commercial and investor side, but. Uh, you know, we've had a busy week. We, uh, we do things different. We, uh, we're not just here to sell. We don't sell anything, actually. We've got, uh, been poking around. We've got clients we've got to find some properties for by year end. We're looking for some land in Cave Creek and with the right zoning, and it's just not out there. We're looking uh, for about a $750,000 house. The ones that have been on the market are priced too high. Uh, if they're priced right, they sell quickly. And it's, you've got to get that mindset. If you like it, make an offer. What It may be under asking price. If you like it, make an offer and get the ball rolling. Uh, you know, it's there's just not a whole lot out there. So we're looking at old listings. We're looking at vacant listings. Just call, making a lot of phone calls. Uh, commercial, we're, we're looking for land. We're looking for land and a 5,000 square foot industrial property by the year end. So, uh, you know, pay attention to what the headline actually says. Uh, you know, luxury homes actually are selling, uh, they're at an all time record for dollar volume for this year. Uh, overall prices are up 6.7% annually uh, in the Maricopa County area, but homes over 2,500 square foot, they're up. Uh, 21% year over year. So prices are strong and people are people are here. There was just one in the back of the neighborhood on Kala Country Club. Asking price was 3.35 million, closed in 11 days at 3.4 million. So there's buyers here. If your home hasn't sold in 30 or 60 or 90 days, it's price or, or your broker. So, uh, you know, we like to think we have a big network and we do things differently. We pick up the phone and we actually, we find your seller for you. So, uh, you know, we do things a little bit more personal. We don't work on a high volume. I always look at it like if you're, if I'm going to represent you and you're going to buy a house or a property or land, I look at it like I may have to sell that someday. So I don't want you to pay too much. I want to make sure you, whether it's six months, six years or 20 years, uh, you know, we, we look at things a little bit more personal, but there. So anyway, we're seeing the headlines. Housing recession. What does that mean? Again, that means number of transactions. In the last 50 years, there has been eight so-called recessions. In one of those recessions, in only one of those recessions, housing prices have gone down. And that just happens to be the 2008 that everybody remembers. So people are waiting for prices to fall. It's not going to happen. Like I said, inventory, we're at about 1,100, 1,178, and we need to be about 5,000. So it's tough. We're, we're, we're doing things a little bit different to find properties for our clients. Uh, so, you know, even in the 80s when mortgage rates are high and when they started coming down, prices, housing prices did not come down. So November is typically a popular month for price reductions going into year end. People want to sell. They've already moved on if it's vacant. So we poke around. We see where we can get you a good deal. And uh, median days on the market is 27 days. So that's that's pretty quick turnaround. Um, we met with a mortgage friend this earlier uh, this week and they've got some good programs. So, uh, you know, some sell before you or buy before you sell. You know, they have a third party company. They'll make an offer on your house and a, and a reasonable, a decent offer. 
and you can go out and shop. That way it looks like you're paying cash. We still have a lot of cash coming from other states. And I think it's like, it's all 28% maybe cash sales last month. And it's not just the cash sales, it's the large down payments. On a million dollar property, we're getting people coming from Oregon, Washington, California. They're putting 500 down, so there's the mortgage rate really doesn't matter, matter that much to them. Uh, baby boomers downsizing, they don't have mortgages. They've got a lot of equity. So I uh, saw another one, Airbnb. A guy had four Airbnbs in one neighborhood, and uh, he was uh, selling them. Just they weren't working out like he thought, and uh, he was losing money on them. So, you know, we looked at his other properties, and then we could kind of see what he's willing to accept. So we, we dig around. We do a little bit more things like that. Commercial. Banks are not lending for commercial property. There is very, very tight credit in the uh, mortgage-backed securities market for commercial. Um, we've got this deal we're working on, and like, like I've said every week, if if it's a hurdle, this deal has it. And it's it's fun. It's like every day, there's about 17 people involved with the attorneys and the investors, and it's a short sale, and we've got a possible government shutdown. It's an SBA loan. Is the government shutdown on November 17th? Is that going to happen and screw up our deal? I don't know, but uh, we're just, we're really babysitting that deal and another one too. We're just, you know, a couple years ago, I feel like the market, when it was real busy, anybody could buy and sell a house. You, you make an offer, you close. You know, no inspections, no anything. Now you really have to babysit the deals to get them to close. And that's kind of where we pay more attention. Um, industrial market, super busy. I just uh, saw, I saw Lennar Homes, uh, an estate land trust meeting yesterday, is bidding, I don't remember the numbers, uh, up northeast, northwest Phoenix, and Lennar Homes is picking up some property uh, for like $15 million. It's like $500,000 an acre for uh, buying from the state of Arizona to develop. So the big builders, they are, they're building. You know, if they've got the finance behind them, they're, they're making money. They're no question. Um, so that's, that's kind of the way that works. Land. Land, land's tough. You know, there's some, there's a lot of overpriced land properties, but going into the end of the year, let's make some offers because land people want to get rid of. People, if there's, if it's not a builder and they don't have a future use for it, going into the end of the year, people want to either do a 1031 exchange. Land, uh, you really got to poke around and find land happens. A lot of off market land deals happen. So that's, that's kind of fun. Um, so commercial, you know, it's busy too. When you hear about the doom and gloom, that's the big hedge funds, the big San Francisco, the Chicago, those buildings. That's all has to do with back end financing. And uh, most of you don't ever have to deal with that, but you'll see the headlines and it looks like doom and gloom. So let's talk about the economy. Where, what do mortgage rates, what sets mortgage rates? Everybody wants to blame Chairman Powell at the Fed, uh, the Federal Reserve, he he does not set rates. He sets rates between banks. What sets mortgage rates is U.S. Treasury debt. Uh, U.S. Treasury has issued 1.5 trillion dollars of debt over the past four months, and they're going to issue another 1.5 trillion over the next six months. There was a 10-year auction on Wednesday. Uh, was okay. And then the, yesterday, there was a 30-year bond auction. You know, all week, rates have come down a little bit. Um, you know, you see everybody celebrating, yay, rates are done, rates are done climbing. They're not. I, Of course, I don't know. Nobody knows what rates are going to do. But uh, U.S. Treasury issues debt to pay their bills. They There's a buyer and a seller. Markets are pretty efficient. So they issue that debt. Um, it's a supply and demand buyer. The market determines what the purchase price of that debt is. On bonds, if the price is low, rates are high. Well, nobody wanted to buy that debt yesterday on that 30-year auction. It's called a Dutch auction. All the rates are the same. Uh, the primary dealers that were handling the treasury issue, they had to buy 25% of the debt. That's unheard of. Sometimes... You know, they typically buy 10 or 12 percent. The Bank of America is the big the big bond dealers. Um, they typically buy back 10, 12 percent of the U.S. Treasury debt that it's issuing. They had to buy back 25 percent of the debt yesterday. 
China has stopped buying U.S. debt, Japan, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and India. They're not buying U.S. bonds. And so that, so when the U.S. Treasury says, hey, here's a bond. We want to sell it to you. We need to raise some debt. What is what makes that debt worthwhile for you, the market, other countries, investors to buy? And uh, there was not a big pool of buyers out there. So that means the price was pretty low. That was rates up. So the Treasury is going to keep issuing these, this debt. Uh, they have to. Um, they have to to pay their bills. The U.S. is in serious uh, trouble. And up. Uh, I should say the 10-year and the 30-year are the most solid investments. Historically, you buy a 10-year bond, you know you're going to get paid on it in 10 years. Is that questionable? So does that, it's risk versus reward. Are, do they, investors want a higher return for that debt? So if we're going to keep issuing it then and people aren't buying it, that's just going to let rates creep up, 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 and up. And the mortgage rates are based on the 10-year Generally, there's also a LIBOR rate. It's London Interbank offer rate, but that's more of a global issue. But, uh, you know, Chairman Powell came out yesterday afternoon. He says, I don't know if we've done enough to uh, to control this inflation. So uh, until the spending stops, I don't see any drastic, dop- any drastic drop in rates. So I, I may be wrong. I hope I am. I hope rates do come down and help people out a little. I, fig- I think like Five, six percent is kind of a comfortable. The investors make money. People carrying the debt can afford it. So I think five or six percent works for everybody. But we've been here before. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm 52 years old. We've seen we've seen 10 percent and higher rates. It's the last few years of the two, three percent. That's it's unheard of. So uh, anyway, we're getting there. I don't want to get too. Late. If you have any questions, call me. You know, I try to keep these pretty simple. Um, you know, it just comes down to monetary policy versus fiscal policy. The Fed structures monetary policy and controls the money supply. The U.S. Treasury controls fiscal policy and covers the U.S. debt. So, you know, I, like I said, I met with some mortgage uh, mortgage buddy. They've got some good deals out there. Veterans. Happy Veterans uh, Day weekend. I think tomorrow is actually Veterans Day, but... Uh, there's some good veterans program. We will actually, we will actually contribute to your closing costs. Uh, me personally, uh, just because I have so much respect to, uh, to veterans. I'm not a veteran myself, but, uh, if they would take a 52 year old, uh, chubby guy, uh, I would, I would go sign up. I'd, I'd go sign up for the military today. Uh, 100%. Um, but, uh, anyway, we appreciate veterans so much. We, uh, we're going to, Give us a call. Let us know about the program that we're offering. Uh, but anyway, everybody's situation is different. If you want to buy, buy. If you want to sell, sell. You cannot time the market. Um, you need a roof over your head. You need a, if you're a business, you need a place to operate out of. I was reading yesterday, automotive. We deal with a lot of automotive, industrial. Their leases are tough to find because they are messy. Uh, they tend to be messy businesses and the land owners don't want us. So, you have to purchase that the, the property, so it's expensive. But uh, anyway, give us a call. Buying a house, looking looking for a house or rental property, whatever you're uh, whatever you're looking for. Sit down. Let's uh, let's look at your numbers. See what we can do to help you. You know, it's uh, like I say, we're not we don't sell anything. We uh, we look at long term relationships here. And if you like us, great. If you don't like us, we'll pass. A, we can. Uh, Refer you out to somebody else, and that's fine. We uh, no, you cannot hurt my feelings ever. So, uh, anyway, uh, again, happy Veterans Day weekend. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Be smart, be safe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.